Hello there, castles. My name is Jacket. And this is my show, Lit News with Jacket. As you can see, we're now in a new office. Since you know, we've been fucking robbed XD. But before I begin, I would like you to introduce to our special guest. Nice to meet you. Likewise. It's also good to meet you, sir. Oh, finally made it here. Jesus. Get out of here, you bastard. Oh, so Come here, nice yo. to sit down. Fuck you, my back hurts. Oh. What is your name? My name is Jenkins Jalla J Johnson Jenkins. I don't remember my name. What rank are you? Sergeant, yeah, sergeant. Where are you from? I'm from Ireland. I don't have my accent no more. How did you end up in America? Yeah. I swam over here, you retard. I came over on a boat. What is it like to fight in the Civil War? It's pretty great to fight in the Civil War. I like to defend this, uh, this great land here. Kill them bastard Yankees and shit. Have you killed hot women? Uh, I don't think I've ever killed any hot women, let me think. Well, yeah, I guess I've, I, I mean, I might have. Prostitutes probably count, I don't know. Have you fucked any hot women? Uh, well, yes, I have gotten fairly intimate with the hot women before. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Do you like killing others? I love killing others. It makes the adrenaline flow. <laughs> To other parts of my body that haven't been getting blood in years. How old are you? How old am I? You bastard petty shit. You don't have to know how old I am. Son of a bitch. I'm fine, I'll tell you. I'm 97 years old. And I look like I'm 20. Okay, well that's a lie, but whatever. Are you a grandpa? And no, I'm not a grandpa. I ain't got no kids that I know about. I don't think. Do you know what is phone? A phone? F, a phone? What, what the hell's a phone? Whatever. Next question. Piece of shit. You ever heard of a computer before? Computer? What's a, what, compute, com, what? What are you talking about? You need to, like, it, that's not English. I don't know what that is. Let me show you. You can watch porn just like this. Do you like it? Mm. Oh. Oh, what, what, what is this? Uh, what? You fucking cunt. I gotta clean this shit up. What is it like to fire a musket? I love firing my musket. <laughs> Both of them if you catch my drift. <laughs> what is that gun in your belt? Oh, this? Well, yeah, this is a this is a Colt Army 1860 revolver. It's uh it's a pretty damn cool gun. I, it's uh it's great, it does the job, you know. What union you are fighting for? Against North, right? I'm fighting for the, uh, Confederacy, because I hate the North, the damn Yankee bastards. Are you gay? Am I gay? Do I look gay to you? Bastard, you're probably gay is what you are. Mm -hmm. Have you killed any black people? I, I've probably killed some, uh, yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if I've ever killed any of them before. I, I, don't, I don't know. Did you ever do medical help to other teammates? done medical help to other teammates? Well, I suppose so. I don't, I mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe, I think so. I don't know. For how long you've been in the war? I've been in the year for about four years now. It honestly doesn't seem like it's ever going to end. Fought in every war before then, it seems like. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. I assume that you don't like Asians, right? I hate Asians, those freaking bastards. Frickin' douchebags, my god. 
Uh, can you fire my musket? Next time, boy, you need to keep an eye on what you're asking and keep your mind around what you're gonna say, Hot Rod. I'll straighten you out or your cellmate will straighten you out, boy. Mm -hmm. How many other blue fuckheads have you killed? How many, how many, how many blue what? How many Yankees have I killed? I've killed a, I've, I've killed a shit ton. Probably about 500, mm-hmm. You ever said the N-word in public? Have I ever said the N-word? What, N-word, what do you mean? Do you mean the, uh, what, what are you talking about? What, like, uh, what do you mean? Um, can you, can you explain it a little bit? Uh, you know, I, I don't know what you're talking about, really. In the, uh, you know, um, like, well, I don't know what word you're talking about. Oh, you mean, oh, yeah, hell yeah, I've said that word before. <laughs> that's what we call them around here. <laughs> right, that's all I've got. Goodbye. Can I please leave through the portal? Yes. Today's news topic is economy, world, XD, Raffle Nail. Let's begin. World War III, satellite images show hundreds of Russian tanks massing on Ukraine border. Hundreds of Russian tanks look poised for a mass invasion of Ukraine, as tensions over Crimea threaten to boil over. Latest satellite imagery shows Russian defense forces assembling hundreds of tanks at a new military base near the town of Kamensk Shakhinsky just over 10 miles from the Ukraine border. Updated images from Google Earth taken in November shows the large-scale military base is being equipped with P-64 and P-62M tanks as well as thousands of military trucks, artillery systems and tankers. The base is near the rebel-held territory of eastern Ukraine, where Russia has been accused of backing separatist fighters clashing with pro-Ukrainian government forces. The commander of Ukraine's armed forces has said Russia now poses the greatest military threat since it annexed Crimea in 2014. General Viktor Mazenko said the satellite images show at least 250 Russian tanks assembled near the border in the space of just two weeks. He said, in front of us is an aggressor who has no legal, moral or any other limits. It is very difficult to predict when it will occur to him to begin active combat actions against Ukraine. General Mazenko said the tanks assembled in the run-up to the Kerch Strait incident in which Russia captured Ukrainian ships and more than 20 naval officers. Moscow has still not released the many and Ukraine has accused it of a concerted effort to mobilize its tanks in the run-up to the incident. Mr. Mazenko added, this was an act of aggression from regular forces, the border service, of the Russian Federation, in relation to the Ukrainian armed forces. The Kremlin has denied the accusations, saying Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko is stirring anti-Russian sentiment ahead of elections. Mr. Poroshenko introduced martial law last week in parts of Ukraine he believes to be most at risk from Russian attacks. Well holy shit, Russia wants to fuck Ukraine really bad, it looks like. Next news is, Israeli army raises home of prominent Palestinian activist. The Israeli army has demolished a residential building owned by a prominent Palestinian activist, whose six sons have been imprisoned by Israel. The building, owned by Latif Abu Umid, is located in the Emory refugee camp near the occupied West Bank city of Ramallah. According to an Adelaide news agency reporter based in the area, Israeli soldiers raided the camp early Saturday, surrounding the building before bringing it down in a controlled demolition. Before raising the four-story structure, the army evicted dozens of journalists and solidarity activists who had been inside the building in a bid to prevent its destruction. Israel accused one of Abu Hamid's sons of killing an Israeli soldier in May. Protesters called the destruction a form of collective punishment. Fifty-six Palestinians arrested neighbors said several hundred residents, including children, were ordered out of their homes and kept in a sports field in the cold night, while the army operation continued. Following the demolition, confrontations broke out between local residents and Israeli troops, with the latter using tear gas, rubber-coated steel bullets and lit ammunition to disperse the crowds. At least 56 Palestinians have been injured in the protests against the demolition. Israel Regulary Demo. People Arm Sounds. Pay high voice, attention, there is the news alert. People Arm Sounds. Holy shit, we've just got in the news alert, our first news alert. Let's check this out out, shall we? Diplomat from Melania Trump's native Slovenia warns of waning US influence in Europe. Slovenian Foreign Minister Miro Serer, left, meets with Secretary of State Mike Pompeo in Friday at the State Department. By Carol Morello December 15th at 7 a.m. The Foreign Minister of Slovenia, a small Balkan country that many Americans associate with native daughter Melania Trump, came to Washington this week to warn that the United States must make its leadership more visible in Europe or risk being eclipsed by China and Russia. Miro Serer, a former Prime Minister who now is Slovenia's top diplomat, met Friday with Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and National Security Advisor John Bolton. It was the first official visit paid to Washington by a Slovenian Foreign Minister since 2010. Though Slovenia is a nation of just 2 million people, it has attracted a lot of interest from China, Sarah said in an interview with the Washington Post. The United States has been much less visible by comparison, he added. It's not enough to have good economic cooperation, he said. 
I tell you, the Chinese come to Europe. As Prime Minister, I met five times with the Chinese Prime Minister Li Qiang in order to discuss is there more news, I'm fucking exhaust. Holy shit that's a lot, no. I'm not reading this fucking let's end this episode. See you later, luck. I'm fucking done, jeez. Swa 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 sw